You hear a lot about serotonin in psychiatry. So just what is that stuff? Well, it's a molecule that looks something like this. It's discovered in 1935 in an extract from GI enterochromaffin cells and labeled in teramine. In 1948, a substance in the blood serum called serotonin increased vascular tone. And in 1952, these are shown to be the same thing. By 1953, it was found in the central nervous system. Its chemical name is 5-hydroxytryptamine. It's a monoamine neurotransmitter. It's synthesized from tryptophan, which is an amino acid common in diet, especially in Turkey, makes you sleepy after Thanksgiving. And from there, it's converted in two steps, 5-hydroxytryptophan to serotonin. It's metabolized by monoamine oxidase to 5-HIAA. 90% of it's in your gut regulates intestinal movement. It also has a role in nausea and vomiting. It's also stored in platelets to join the clotting factor. So why is there a neurotransmitter in the gut? Well, your 30 foot long tube has its own nervous system, which has the same number of neurons as the spinal cord. Now in the brain, the serotonin pathways start in the brainstem with the RAFE nuclei where it is synthesized First, it goes to the nucleus accumbens, the reward circuit, and then throughout the lobes of the brain. It's involved in mood, memory, sleep, and cognition. Key observations, it's increased in socially dominant animals and decreased in subordinates. It's also decreased in depression, anxiety, and OCD, and during the obsessive phase of falling in love. In the synapse, signal flow imagined from the left to the right. Down the axon comes serotonin into the synaptic left might hit a receptor, trigger some messages, it might get degraded by monoamine oxidase, or it might get taken back up by the serotonin transporter. So to modify serotonin, you can change the amount of serotonin synthesized or released into the synapse, you can change postsynaptic receptor affinity, you can change the activity of CERT, or the activity of MAO.